All right, guys, welcome. Uh, this is Derg. This is the second virtual tour. Figure I would do my village first and kind of show the the different key things of the realm, like the, some of the community items. Last time I showed you a little bit, and I kind of went through everything and had a few beers. It was a good time. This time it will be a little bit different. So, uh, yeah, this is my area. Last time I didn't have a world map in my hand, but this time I wanted to at least have it here so you could see where it's at in the realm. But, all right, well, let's get this thing started. So when I very first started the realm, the respawn point was actually, or the spawn point was actually right here. You'd spawn in looking this direction. And uh, there's a whole bunch of mountains and stuff right here and big swamp. So I uh, do what I always do and went down to the swamp level and then went over to the side and there was a big mountain here and just started digging down. I made a little thing over my head just to prevent phantoms and all the other assholes that you know want to mess with you. Made my little storage that everybody always gave me a hard time about because I never organized it. I could literally just come in here and dump all my shit. Uh, kind of like lava. Kept getting attacked by these assholes, and you can obviously tell. I like to be reminded that I'm the winner. Uh, I was experimenting with redstone when I first started the realm, and. I saw like a thing online about some like repeating pistons. Ooh, that one's excited. But I used to keep them on all the time just because I thought it was cool. You could hear it and you know, you come in and you see the lava. It's like, oh, pump room, makes sense. But uh, yeah, lots of lag. But yeah, so made a little mine shaft. This is the entrance to the mine shaft. Put some flowers up there. Thought a little bit of decoration was nice. Uh, and of course, I, I used to have a, a trapped pillager captain in there, and somebody thought it'd be a good idea to kill him. I had him for a display, but okay. Unfortunately, I wasn't smart and did not prepare for this video, so there is no minecart there. But normally, you go down the minecart. Wee! You try to hit the bell. Oh yeah. And yeah. There was actually a uh, mob spawner in one of these places and I freaked out because I had never seen one before and destroyed it. Oh, smart. I was super proud of this. I like dug all of this out and I had a little baby baby pill, uh, zombie piglin or whatever those are I can't remember but I had one here and I named him Chucky and I didn't want anybody to hurt Chucky I thought that was funny actually but yeah so I put lava here just cause I don't know I like lava it's dangerous I like to play around with fire Kind of like women, you know. You always know you're going to get hurt, but you keep going for it anyways. <laughs> My little nether portal, the OG first nether portal. Oh, mother. I'll beat you. It's okay. That's Chucky's predecessors. He won't hurt you. Got my little enchanting room. I kept getting those random traders, so definitely wanted to keep all of them for whatever reason. You can actually put a chest on them and uh, put a little sign there to tell you. There used to be some chests in there, but I probably needed them or somebody else probably stole them. But in theory, which I never did it, but you could put a chest on them and when you go mining, you could, uh, you know, have it follow you around. But, um, kind of like a mule. But 
this was going to be my first attempt at putting like trees underground, and I thought it actually looked better without it, and didn't really care about the stone, obviously, and the dirt, and it's whatever. This has been like a never-ending supply of lava, like, I made a lava moat around my little jail that I'll show you in a little bit, and I used every single source block in that, that jail, or, or prison, from this. And it just like stopped on the side. Like it doesn't even flow it out, flow out anymore. And honestly, I can't even find any more lava in there. But it's still there. So there's probably one hidden. But this is a really good way if you ever want to make obsidian just quickly. You know, and you don't feel like looking for it. You don't feel like going down. Whatever. I don't know. But put some water down. I don't know. Oh. Again, I'm not forget about you. So, my little uh, cooking machine, I'm sure everybody's seen one of those, but yay. When I first joined Salty Dogfish, he made this ender portal design. I thought it was actually really cool. But I got like a secret room in here that nobody knows of, but I'm going to show you guys just because nobody comes over here. <laughs> um... If you were to think of where the secret room would be, where do you think? Well, let me tell you, it's probably in between the two torches. Oh, yay, secret room with more junk chests. Which, by the way, I don't know if you guys saw, but I just found this, uh, what's it called? Your character or whatever. It's a king. Like, oh, yeah. Definitely using that. Sorry if you can hear my dog drinking. Obviously, he's dehydrated and wants to drink like a gallon of water. But, yep. So, secret room. But there's more. What does this do? Nothing. I'll just put that back. But what does this do? Oh, wow, you see what I did there? Super cool. All right, let's leave. Wait a minute, just kidding. Boom, actual secret room. And I know you've seen those commercials. But wait, there's more. Skeleton. I like to use those for secret rooms. Someone broke it. What the heck? Let's put some dirt in there. But yeah, that's supposed to be a secret room that you can't see. Unless you flip this lever. And then boom, it's open. Magic. And I was going to do a tree farm down here. But I got way lazy and I was so tired of clean it, clearing out area. Like, man. Made this little bookshelves and made a little heart thing for my girlfriend. We've been dating since 17 of November or September 30th. But it's technically November. This is my original map. You can tell it's much different. Well, actually, I need to get a smaller, smaller map. But you can tell the the two the differences in the two maps. Definitely. But a little aquarium down here with one fish. Hell yeah, the lone wolf. Wonder where my others went. And there's always a freaking slime here. Like, I don't know why. There's always a slime here. I'm not gonna kill him actually. I like him. He's a little buddy. And he wants to come down here, but he can't. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, you can actually shut the door off here. Oh, what? Oh, it's probably because I have the... No, this should work. What the heck? Maybe it's this one. Oh, it's that one. Okay. Shoot, it's been so long since I've even been down here. But yeah, you can see the circuit. I tried to hide it using signs. I don't 
don't know, I guess it has its own little vibe. Can't move if that's supposed to be up or down, so we'll just eeny meeny miny mo catch tiger by his toe. Damn it, figures I did the wrong Wow, that's just the kind of luck I got. Onward. Sorry if that was a year ba blasting. This goes on for a really long time. I guess I'll have to go steal a minecart. In my head, I was thinking, oh yeah, let's dig a really straight line, you know, for a really long time, and I don't know, something about that was really cool, and I thought I was going to be using it a lot, so I made this, like, cart dispenser. You can put your cart up here. I got to jump on it. will pile up because you can't actually stack minecarts, but you can make them fall on top of each other and then kabam, what do you know? I don't know if I want to go down here. It's going to be like, it's going to make this video so long, but I have an area over there as well. I'm not going to show you, but it's got some cool things. And I just took that minecart for nothing, but it's okay. So all the stuff that I used or I got while mining, which is mainly like in my head junk at the time besides cobblestone because everybody likes cobblestone. I made a giant like sky fortress. And once again, I like lava. Put some like bamboo and stuff. There's water underneath those slabs so you won't lose anything. You could also use trap doors. I think I got bees in there. Let's listen. Dude, that sounds gross. Made it. Oh shit! Made a little area over here. Hey. Hey, it's okay. All right. Oh, well, that's a tree farm. And it goes, it has every single tree in it. So, made this little clock tower. 9.30 for September 30th. Aw. These were originally small houses. Oh, my girlfriend's here. They all looked like this. But this house is Urns. This house is uh, Salty's. He revamped his. And this house is Bo's. And she revamped hers. Oh, man. Well, a little mini. <coughs> this was the original bank. People might see it and think, oh, old bank. But it's kind of empty. There's still stuff in it. People need food. There's still some food in there. This is the first beacon. Oh, this is in my last video. Don't let this fool you. It's not all diamond. <laughs> I just wanted to be fancy. This is that prison I was telling you about. See that lava moat? That's a freaking ton of lava. 
people used to steal it. These piss me off. Anyways, there's Jorge. Oh, rip, Kip. Something happened to him. What the heck? Not the judge. Oh, the judge. He's gone. Uh, at least that's number two, Diesel. Is he still alive? This is the player market. Uh, each of these buildings are somebody else's market. They all sell different things. This is AEB's. Time to restock. Sells rockets. I think people are wanting to buy them. It almost looks like maybe somebody got blown up by a creeper and they didn't have anything, but <laughs> mm, skillfully. So how this works, it's a really basic, you just, really based off of trust, each person knows what they have and what it's worth, but say you wanted a thing of packed ice. Oh shit. Playing on a PlayStation controller. Fuck. Oh, sorry. Dang it. Try not to use that word. Oh. You would do that. Mother. I'll take one. But I actually don't want that, but yeah, that's how you do it. But yeah, these are all different places. Some things offered different things. Yo yo maps. All your mapping needs. Uh oh. I saw that. Get out of here, demon. Yeah. Okay. This is my Coliseum. And I cheated to make this Coliseum. I made it all without cheating, but the uh, way how it works definitely cheats. What the heck? Why are there spawning so many? Oh, crap. Oh, cool. It's still nighttime. The way how this works, it's about to be sunrise. Okay, so those are all uh, spawners. You turn it on by turning the light, the redstone lamps off from underneath. Dang. I already missed it. It has to be nighttime. I wonder if I put like a cover over this. I bet if I put a cover over this, it'd be dark enough. But... Sorry, I was in a rush. You walk in. Wow, three signs. You come in. Coliseum rules. Don't be intimidated. It's not that much to read. Main things, just like look for creepers because nobody wants their stuff blown up. There's 14 mob spawners. Zombies, witches, cave spiders, skeletons, and one ravager. Just make sure that you kill all the creepers. And what this is, this is not for, like, trying to get items. I did not make this to try to, like, get extra saddles or whatever. It's just, like, it's really hard. I mean, there's 14 of them in there. So you, you're not supposed to, like, turn it on and snipe all the monsters out. You're supposed to turn it on and jump in the middle and see if you can survive. So... But anyways, screw the rules, I'll just tell you. So you turn the switch on, and then you hit this switch. This actually energizes a circuit in here. You can see the iron nuggies. So watch what happens when you put all the nuggies and you let them transfer over. goes down into a little circuit down there 
So remember, you hit the button, you jump in, and you try to you try to take them all down. Each one of these are different. At the rate of how fast the nuggies tra travel or transfer from one hopper to the other, uh, it's about two and a half minutes. And then once it closes the circuit, the piston will move, and it will you'll hear a bell right there. That's how you know you won, you survived. If you die, you just make sure that you sleep beforehand, so you spawn right here, and then you simply you know, turn it off, and then you go in there and you get all your shit. Super cool. I always wanted to do something with uh, sp spawners, but it's unfortunate that you can't like get a silk touch pickaxe and move them. Sorry, I got some sniffles. This is my uh, corkery forest, I guess you could say. And that is the Great Deku Tree that is incomplete. But it's actually, like, I try to make an like, exact replica. Like, if you've ever played the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, you know, you walk in... You got the hole in the ground, you got the shrubs over here. There's normally some things attacking you right here, but you got the vines and then the ladder. You come up here, run around with the little, remember the concrete going out the middle? Vines that go up here with the chest in the middle. What do you know? It's the map. I, can, I guess I could have named the map. But it's the uh, Great Deku Tree map. You jump over here, hit the button. There's normally a uh, Deku shooting its its nuts at you. Giggity. Come over here, there's like a gap here, and what do you know? The fairy slingshot. Wow, so cool. If you go up the vines. It's actually a uh, chest. Well, you know, Ruppies. Should have named him once again. Well, duh. Even getting out of here is kind of funny because people be like not able to see that. Well, I don't want to jump down there because it's incomplete. And but I got a second level. I put a monster spawner at the top of that. So I cheated once again. At the I put one. It's just a spider. You can probably hear it, but. Yep, this was originally in this area here where the player market is, I had a villager market. And it was like a super lag fest with like, yeah, it was just bad. There was no organization. They all just ran them up. <coughs> this was the second attempt at a villager market. And I tried. Fairly hard. But what kept happening is I would get them all working and I had every single enchantment. And then all of a sudden they'd change job spaces, like they go to a different one. What's this guy? Oh, there it is. But yeah. Bummer. In Divinera. It was, man, even running through all this stuff, I kind of forget about it because we've upgraded so much. But. La dee da dee da. Very big area, so I have to run all the way back the other way because I want to give you a proper tour. Take down my stamina. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. Look at my church. If you couldn't tell. What do churches do? They ask for money. So there's the offering table. Get some little red doors. I wonder what that means. 
Oh, Postmates. Thank you. More of those guys. More odd end chest stuff. Oh, what am I doing that for? But you know, like, churches normally have, like, an office and sometimes, like, homeless people sleeping there. And my neighbors would be in loud as shit. What is this? Don't tell your mommy. But I did something. Oh, wait. Please still be there. No! I captured a lava cube. Poor guy. Probably despawned with another update. I'm surprised the I'm running as well as I am with being in this is like the the highest lag area like if you join the realm and you're playing on xbox like you'd be disconnecting all the time right now but this i actually did not make this is salty's and he's done a fantastic job on it. it's the museum if you could not tell this is a the person I was mentioning earlier, Bo, she she used to play like more than anybody, but she's given up on us. And this is my area. This is okay. So breakdown of the map time. I don't. You guys don't need this, do you? What, how you? How you change your equipment on the phone? Is it this button? Oh wait, I need to watch out for creepers, man. I always do this. Oh, nice. Is it this? Oh, there we go. Man. So, yeah, watch out for creepers here. This is like where I was showing you. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got that building up there. I need to show you that, too. I made this building out of white stained glass way up in the sky where you can't see it. And at first, it didn't show up on the maps because glass didn't show up on the maps, even stained glass. But then all of a sudden, we, I got an update, and now there's this giant freaking... Yeah, nice. Uh-oh, there goes the earbud. All right. So this is like my area where I was showing you Coliseum here. You get over here, this is Focus Freaks area, and then you can see Starter Bridge. Or you can see the Starter, uh, whatever. But, yeah, I got hit by a creeper. Oh, Ice Palace, and man, I got so much to show you. This is going to be a long video. But, don't ask me how he did all this. He's a freaking beast. Look at that, that's nice. Gave him a little, like, room. I hate witches. Put, like, I don't even want to talk about it. Just hearing one of them, like, laugh just pisses me off. Excuse me. You got, like, one of every item. Guess what's the first thing to get stolen? Oh, yeah, right here. I ain't like that. That's kind of cool. Made use of a conduit. Wow, look at all those freaking fish. Looks like they're all being pushed down. Maybe there's a... Mm. Oh yeah, by the way, if you didn't know, you can get a skeleton horse. Be a freaking sea cowboy. Go up here. There's like, well, I don't know where, you know, like hidden treasure maps and ones that people have found. If you did not know, well, 
you didn't already guess, there is a guardian spawner in the server. Um, I'm sure that was very difficult to get in here, just saying. The actual bank and supermarket is that away. Oh wait, my house is up there. Oh, man, I got so much. This is a little bar area that I didn't really do much with. I just was trying to think of something to fill out some space. But it looks like Salty did a little bit of change and press for a random cold brew. Oh, mother. What did it give me? Oh, wow, haste. That's, or uh, movement. Beer and speed. Mm. Wait a second. Beer. Oh, yeah. Feather. Oh, what's that? Slow falling? Yeah. Hey, that would be cool. Imagine all the beer in your belly, though. Ooh, I'd probably throw up. This is my firehouse that causes lots of lag. And it used to be way worse, but I took out a lot of it. But man, even being over here is like, oof. Oh, yeah. Let's do that again. Oh, yeah, I you like that. So I didn't really do much with this, but I started working on it, and then I was like, eh. and I still have Feather Falling. That's a damn good potion. I didn't even have to pay anything for it, or maybe I was supposed to, and I didn't read. Man, playing on phone makes, like, your neck hurt. Man, I can't get comfortable. Oh, what the? In the safety of my own home. So, I should have bees in here. Please tell me I have bees in here. I can't tell, but that is a disgusting sound, I will tell you that. What the heck? Could have just ate that. I'm putting up that's a salty thing. You will find like random cakes everywhere. Look this is how incomplete and how lazy I am. I was like, so who even needs a second stair? No creepers. Oh yeah. Oh, no! Now I got the heebie jeebies. Freaking demons in here. I bet. I could just jump off of here since I have feather falling. Oh! Shoot me in midair! Yeah, get some. Okay, I was done with that anyways. Oh! I'm ready to not have feather falling. This is some good beer. I guess I can just fly everywhere. Like a slow walk. Hell yeah, look at that butt. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I'm farting my way up. Look at those bubbles. Oh, creeper! <laughs> Man, I was freaking out. It's to be daytime already. This used to be an entrance to this into Salty's area. You can tell by the big S that that is his area. He uh, when we first started, there's a village down there, and he overtook it. It was a villager village. Ooh, that's nice, villager village. And um, he he like revamped it and. Added like a ton of his own buildings and so there's originally a lot of snow golems in there. I have not felt the need to restock them. 
Salty. Yes, he wants to make sure. I understand, brother. Let me tell you. This is like a snowball fighting ice rink. Oh my gosh. Why are they doing this to me right now? Like seriously. Demons. Oh cool, I don't have any more beer on me. This is horse racing. Oh, my horse is gone. I'll show you how it works. But, this is what you do. You start here. Three, two, one, go, whatever, I don't know. Run around, woo! And then you gotta... Oh man, I should've... I don't know why I even didn't just kill him first. Yeah, you try to jump over it or whatever. With the horse. Which I don't know if you knew that you could do that if you get an elytra. Okay, yeah, screw that. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming up on the end of the tour, finally. Oh, oh, yeah. That is a building that me and Focus Freak made. We call it the Dojo. But I want to show you a couple more things. I will show you the dojo on a different tour because that is something that me and Nick made. Or Focus Freak. These are houses that are for rent if anybody needs them. I think, uh, actually, well, nobody's put a sign up or anything. One of these, I think this one's AEB's or Alex, please know. Yeah. <coughs> Wow, I just burped and it sounded just like that zombie. This is my pride and joy, if you can't tell. Look at that entrance. That's my flag, my banner, by the way, if you ever see that. Oh, man. Such suspense. Look at all this ice. I paid a, a dude name. Well, I don't know his actual name. I can't remember. He told me a few times, but I have a terrible memory. But uh, make traps great again. A lot of diamonds to get me a lot of ice. I already had a lot, but he helped me out. Oh my gosh! Wow, good save, good save. Good job, Dirk. Why is there so many creepers right now? Like, what the heck? You may have seen this in the first virtual tour if you got to the ending if you got to the ending good job good job we can probably be friends but I took a lot of time into making this thing like the detail to it man the floor there's uh, sea lanterns on oh, my carpet there's sea lanterns underneath a lot of this carpet The king's bedroom, and I wanted like an ice bed, so that's what I got, an ice bed. Uh, oh, I thought I had a bow in there. Maybe not. Literally just made all this for show. Like I don't ever come up here anymore. I'm so proud of it, though. Like my ice trees. Like, good idea, bro. Good, Good job. Enchanting room. Let's go fast. All right. Lag. Item frames. There you go, with nothing in it. I was like, yeah, I'll use some cartography cotog table stuff. No, I never used it. Oh, I just found out that if you put those things down, well, I didn't just find out, but if you put them down and they look, they look cool, right? Well, I put some on top of my house in Bo's village and uh, 
found out that you can accidentally hit them and they blow up and they destroy your house. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to show you my statue of Zeus. You guys will love that. This is my bank. With very li little stuff in it. Don't worry, I won't forget about you, Zeus. This is like the armory. You know, there's gotta be an armory. I really like leather enchanted armor. A lot of the stuff's like about to break, but. What the? You got a prison ringster. Oh, I didn't even look up, but. There is like a top floor section. Last but not least, of course, you have to have a uh, kitchen with no stoves. Oh, wait, no, there is some stoves. Okay, I couldn't remember. All right, Austin. I mean, not Austin. Well, you tell me what you think. I call my statue. It's supposed to be Zeus holding a lightning bolt, right? I think it kind of looks like Austin Powers, but that's just me. What do you think, Austin Powers? Very proud of this. Good work. Went to many great lengths to make everything that I did. It's actually hollow. This is concrete too, which I didn't show you my farm. I have a concrete machine. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? That's hollow in the middle of it, and that arm. So is the face. Look at that face. Just wow, so so good. Look at that nose. Perfect. Diorite. All right. While I'm up in the air, let me show you that big building I was telling you about earlier at the museum. Meow. All white stained glass. Massive. I call it the Temple of Time hidden in the clouds. Oh, yeah. Took a really long time. I like ran out of things to do. So I literally was like, oh, I want to make a, a thing that you can't see. So you come down here. Wee. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Forget, maybe lag. Hey, my bees. It's actually all the way up there. Uh huh. And then the beacon disappears at like 150 or something. That's crazy. Alright, bird's eye view of the horse racing. These thingamajigs. Alright. I would normally probably wait until Focus is here, but I already told him I was going to do this. So we built these. You can tell. Lag. This has almost, because that guy died, every single enchantment for great prices. Not all of them are... Uh, Fixed, but when I say fixed, I mean uh, like Fortune 3, 7. Some of these guys have like turned into zombies, and if you turn them into zombies and then uh, cure them, they keep their trades, and it goes to 1. Thorns three for one. <laughs> That's crazy. 
baby kitties. But yeah, that's good for like trading. If you need any emeralds, I got like one of everything. So if you get some sticks and you literally come in here, sticks, emeralds, or paper. You got paper for the all these clerics. Or what are those guys called? Librarians. This is uh, our like super stable. We're trying to like breed the perfect horse. And we kept like V, so that's like the best ones right there. Those are like perfect horses for five. Jump two, speed two. Mostly slow, 13 hearts. A lot of these are just like jump three. Four. <laughs> That's funny. In case you couldn't read that. Oh, this is where the the frick house is. For all the villagers. I'm surprised there's not more in there. We're probably hidden. I don't want to feel like going in there. All right. And the grand finale. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait, that's the wrong, wrong thing. The bank lag, super lag. Don't worry, it'll only kick you off if you're on Xbox. So this is an automatically dispensing bank that has every item in it, almost. Put them in. Oh, I took the nuggies. I gotta go put those back in the. Oops. Put them in there. They go up into a hopper system with capacitors. And yeah, it's got every item in it. It's not like a whole lot in everything. I mean, you can see. It's, it's kind of just like a junk drop off, but there is some good stuff in here. I had to get like 45 or something like that of every single item that's stackable. So everything that's in here is stackable. But it's got pretty much everything, man. I found out that if you play on mobile, you can actually change the color of the, the font. That's not cheating or anything. It's like whenever you go to type it in, you have to put in something first. I, I can't remember what it is. It's been a while, but. So that's dark oak with yellow, because that's kind of what it looks like in the image when, when you're holding it in your hand. But left it open so we, if we ever needed to expand it, we could. But each corner of the bank has like something else that's useful. Like. If you ever want to make some potions, there's brewing stands. A little enchanting room. Or do enchanting tables. <laughs> A forge that only two of those have broken so far. I'm surprised. Oh, I forgot to show you the forge too. Whatever. This video's almost done. Yeah, so I guess that is the video then. Shoot, yeah, we did good. I think it's like an hour long video almost. I had fun. Um, if you ever want to join the server, if you're somebody that is watching this that hasn't joined already and you want to, just add me on Discord. I'll put my uh, description or info in my in the in the description. <laughs> But anyways, I guess I'll see you guys uh, another time. Alrighty, how do I do this?